Next Curve. Hey everyone, welcome to Next Curve's Rethink webcast where we provide you with the tech and industry insights that matter. And I'm Leonard Lee, Executive Analyst at Next Curve. And today I'm joined by Oksana Pickerel. How are you doing? Doing great, Leonard. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And you know what? I'm so sorry that we had to miss each other at Honeywell Connect uh, earlier this year. Actually, it was a couple of weeks ago, right? In Dal or a couple of months ago in Dallas. Uh, but it's really great to be able to catch up with you now. And I know that we had planned to have a conversation when we were in Dallas, but uh, unfortunately that didn't happen. But uh, yeah, well, let's see if we can make that conversation happen here. What do you That's say? That's right. Yes. Unfortunately, I was globe trotting at the time, couldn't get back in time. But yes, absolutely delighted to connect, connect now. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know what, why don't you take a moment to uh, tell our audience a little bit about yourself and maybe also help them understand how Sparta Systems fits in this, this big portfolio of software, actually, um, that is uh, now Honeywell Connected Enterprise. Absolutely. Happy to. So the way to think about it is, so Sparta was acquired almost three years ago now and was really the jumping start for the Honeywell Connected Life Sciences business, which um, now is part of my scope, both Honeywell Connected Life Sciences and Connected Logistics. Mm -hmm. We are part of Honeywell Connected Enterprise, mm -hmm. which is a division that is focused on software. That's really, you know, our mission is to take help take Honeywell into that uh, software industrial uh, play on the software industrial journey, yeah. uh, if you will, from a pure industrial play. And we're all very excited about uh, this path. And when you think about it, the capability that Sparta acquisition brought to Honeywell is the enterprise grade quality management system that uh, has both on-prem and SaaS uh, components to the solution. So we are there to support customers regardless of where they are on their digital journey and whether they're ready for the cloud or not quite yet, we are ready to be there to support their regulatory needs. And uh, that can now get married with a broader set of capabilities that Honeywell has mm -hmm. um, under its umbrella. And that includes you know, manufacturing uh, control systems, the Experian batch and uh, MXP capabilities. We have some very interesting uh, capabilities for this industry vertical in advanced materials, in sensor technologies. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think makes it extremely exciting because what we can do here beyond the pure software play is that connectivity and the expertise with the hardware, with controls at the edge, with industrial IoT that uh, very few other players can do. Yeah, and you know what? It, it's so interesting. I still get folks when we when I talk to them about Honeywell, they still think that you guys make consumer thermostats, you know. But um, I think it's kind of an eye opener, and actually, it has been an eye opener for me uh, covering Honeywell for the last year and a half, or I think it's going on two years. Is is the diversity of the industries that Honeywell serves, but then also um, that it no longer <laughs> isn't a consumer <laughs> thermostat business. But I mean. Can you help us understand uh, the legacy that you guys bring, uh, you know, in the biosciences and pharma industries um, to Honeywell and to Honeywell customers? Absolutely. Uh, and, and, and in the future, I, I suspect, right? So. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're definitely, we, we not only, you know, combine the businesses that existed with Honeywell's industry leading base of industrial controls, mm -hmm. Sparta's industry leading enterprise grade quality management workflow uh, solution. Uh, you know, we came into Honeywell with uh, now a 29 year history of being the leader in the quality space yeah. for pharma and medical device for the broader life sciences um, industry. And now we're continuing to invest. We have stood up the new capability in Connected Life Sciences application suite, and we continue to enrich uh, the synergy play that both the hardware and the software side of the house provide. Mm -hmm. And I think what's what's really important about this legacy is that both in the core of the Honeywell business and it and what Sparta brought to to it, we are. We're inheriting a rich 
hands-on expertise of people who have been deep in life sciences for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So we have people who have come in after being in pharma for 20 years, doing exactly the kind of work that we now help our customers do in a much more streamlined, uh, technolo technologically advanced way. And that's what we're building on. It's a combination of technologies, the expertise, and the approach that we apply to the way we innovate, yeah. where we work very closely backwards from the customer's needs to provide innovations that they actually want. Yeah, and I have to say, having been a consultant in that industry, um, mostly doing M&A stuff, but here's the interesting thing about M&A, you get to see everything, right? And it's such a highly regulated, challenging industry, right, with um, so many... Uh, constraints and requirements in terms of how you need to um, how you need to manage your quality control and and manufacturing uh, efficiency. How does Honeywell's legacy and critical technologies and systems and solutions uh, play with what you guys are bringing today? Because you mentioned that you work across now um, these Honeywell. Uh, offerings as well. How does it all kind of come together, and what are those elements that you're uh, you're bringing together to deliver a holistic Honeywell solution to this industry? The the way to think about it with connected life sciences, what we have at our disposal are some of the well-established systems of record, like the Trackwise and Trackwise Digital mm -hmm. QMS, QualityWise AI. Mm -hmm. um, and then Honeywell's Experian Batch, MXP, other solutions. Mm -hmm. What we can do is glue these uh, solutions as well as systems of record that our customers already have. We, uh, you know, we respect the fact that those types of technology estates are sticky, that uh, people are going to have their established data and solution architectures in place. What we're doing with Connected Life Sciences is helping customers capitalize on the data in the systems that they already have in place mm -hmm. to deliver new value, to deliver decision support analytics, to deliver um, tools like HPQR that we launched this summer in GA, uh, Honeywell Process Quality Review, that allows uh, people to function at the top of their license. This is this is an industry that uh, takes a lot of expertise to deploy, and we want people to be spending their valuable time solving the most complex problems that they're qualified to solve instead of gathering data, using clunky collaboration tools that are not very far from perfect, and at the same time answering regulatory requirements. And, and you were totally right. Um, this is a very heavily regulated industry. We know we have to get it right. We know that the systems that we provide are required to keep our customers in business. Yeah. And um, the other, I think, really important part, and it doesn't just apply to quality systems that we, we have, but to the broader solution set as well. This is not just about meeting regulatory requirements. For our customers, quality really has a much more broader meaning. Yeah. And industrial controls have a much broader meaning. Sure. It means delivering safe, efficacious medications to patients who need them. So there is, yes, there is a component of regulatory compliance, but also there is a component of patient safety, right. medic medication efficacy, mm -hmm. and reliability of supply, which is why some of our uh, uh, other solutions around track and trace, around cold chain distribution are key components to what we bring to our customer base. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, uh, things such as uh, safety are important topics that um, I think folks who are maybe not familiar with Honeywell should really tune into because that that's something that Honeywell... Uh, I know is it's just absolutely part of the DNA of uh, the company, but also the core services or um, solutions that it uh, provides. But that, that's an interesting angle that you're providing here on safety as it relates to the industry that you serve. Um, now, I, I do have a question. I mean, you mentioned qualitywise.ai. I mean, can you explain to our audience what that is? Absolutely. Yeah, this is a set of capabilities that uh, we built in addition uh, to the modern trackwise digital quality management solution that capitalizes on artificial intelligence, machine learning, NLP tools, 
to augment decisions that humans make in this process. So we have a, a variety of capabilities. We were first to market with AI tools and quality uh, a few years ago. And uh, really, the some of the functionality has to do with, for example, uh, better auto categorization of quality events, such as complaints. Uh, Post market complaints are a big component of maintaining safety of mm -hmm. products, and then having a closed loop control system yeah. with the quality manage with quality management with manufacturing to make sure that the products that on the market are high quality and safe. Mm -hmm. So, uh, an artificial intelligence powered tool that allows you to categorize the complaints, whether they're high risk, low risk, reportable, not reportable, those tools are valuable to our customers, especially in therapeutic areas that tend to have a high volume of consumer complaints. Mm. So, you know, be not being bogged down by a quality event that has low risk and allowing people to focus on the ones that are high risk, high priority is, uh, is a big deal. And we have a number of customers that use our tools that way. Another one is the capability to deliver insights mm -hmm. based on mining data from previous quality events. Mm -hmm. So, we, we all know that uh, staffing continues, continuity of uh, expertise is, is a challenge across the industry, not just ours, but many others. Mm -hmm. uh, so losing the expertise and how to resolve previous quality events is a big deal. So when we're able to provide those AI augmented tools to see, you know, have we have we encountered a quality event that's similar to this? Yeah. How was it resolved in the past? What were the features that were similar or different? Those are all decision assist tools yeah. that uh, really bring high value to to our customers. By the way, I love how you uh, describe uh, the capabilities as AI augmented. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, yeah, we're nowhere near ready to replace a human. We're we're here to help the humans make the best decisions that they can. Yeah, I mean, and it, because you know, creating intelligent closed loop uh, solutions or operations, I think is it, it's challenging, right? And um, and so um, one of the things that I often talk to about uh, uh, with Honeywell executives is. Um, the challenges around that, but then how uh, you guys are working t with your clients to help them realize that. I mean, it's a complex problem, right? But, you know, I am curious, what are your thoughts there? Because, I, you know, I did read through some of the, the um, you know, product materials and, and, and such, and I, I've seen a lot of mention of like TrackWise Digital Plus MXP. Um, is that kind of how you guys are helping your customers start to close the loop and make things a bit more intelligent? Yeah, that's one of the ways. Yeah, this is a way for us to connect our modern quality solutions with the manufacturing excellence platform that links into, uh, goes back to the performance acquisition of the MES uh, capabilities a couple years ago, links into Experian Batch, DCS system, and uh, a broader set of capabilities that are built around that. And we have some really interesting examples of where this joint approach is really making a difference for customers, like Inet Bio, for example, uh -huh. which has um, a very interesting portfolio of biologics that are, you know, the novel immunotherapies that uh, allow to deliver treatments, cell-based treatments, T-cell-based treatments um, to cancer patients and manufacturing processes that have to take place in companies like this and also in any personalized uh, medicine uh, approaches. Hmm. Those manufacturing processes are becoming more complex. There oh, needs yeah. to be a much more closed loop um, system of control between manufacturing and quality and product release. There has to be a much tighter real time support of decision making around manufacturing and quality. And that's what uh, those bundled and closely linked solutions can can give our customers. Yeah, I, I think that's a really key point there, right? Because I think uh, sometimes we, when we look at a capability, we assume that the requirements are uh, some sort of status quo, but in the point that you're talking about where things are getting more, as drugs become more personalized, there's even more complexity and the safety concerns uh, go um, exponential, I suppose. I, I, I'm, oh, yeah. Right. So, 
Um, yeah, that's an in interesting point. So, um, you know, you guys mentioned SaaS quite a bit, <laughs> and there's a lot of AWS in your background. <laughs> so um, can you help um, me understand and the audience understand why SaaS is so important for you guys? Uh, and, and how does that work out for your customers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we have uh, the, the historical solution that we had in the portfolio was TrackWise on-prem. That's really the industry gold standard for many years. A number of years ago, we stood up the SaaS solution called TrackWise Digital, which is a, a modern architected SaaS product uh, that allows our customers to have that on-demand, uh, by-the-seat, uh, real-time support. The, the other part that is important about uh, TrackWise Digital is that it captures the best practices from our decades in operation and quality through quality process accelerators and allows uh, customers that are even completely new to setting up their systems. Uh, so customers of all sizes and shapes are right for, for a solution like that because we capture our expertise through quality process accelerators to let you set up your repeatable, proven, uh, quality workflows that every company in this industry needs. And, uh, and then the ability to very flexibly add capability modules, expand numbers of users, uh, to also uh, be able to take advantage of upgrades and updates mm -hmm. that we, uh, we publish with regularity. Those are all very important benefits on being in the SaaS world. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. It, I'm glad we finally had a chance to catch up, you know, and this is exactly the kind of insight that I was looking forward to having with you at Honeywell Connect. But hey, we're doing it virtually on my podcast. So, uh, Oksana, I really want to thank you for joining me in this discussion and sharing. Um, it was very enlightening and kind of nostalgic for me, right? Uh, from a consult as a consultant and uh, a former consultant management consultant <laughs> but I appreciate your time and I hope you had a wonderful uh, holiday season and um, are looking forward to a wonderful 2024 um, but I thank you very much Leonard it's it's been a pleasure and yes this industry is never boring so anytime you want to chat I'm happy to yeah. So uh, once again, thank you. And I'm uh, we're going to be leaving um, Oksana's um, uh, contact information below. So if you're interested in contacting her and finding out more about Honeywell Connected uh, Life Sciences, please feel free to reach out to her. I don't think she's going to have any issue with that at all. Right. <laughs> That's right. Happy to talk. Yeah, and, um, and please subscribe to the Next Curve YouTube channel. The easiest thing to do is to subscribe to the Next Curve Research Portal and Media Center at www.next-curve.com for a constant diet of tech and industry insights that matter. And um, we, I hope that everybody has a wonderful end of 2023 and is looking forward to all the best in 2024. Once again, Oksana, thank you so much. And we'll see you in 2024. That's right. Thank you, Leonard. Happy holidays. You too.